starting over again on the second wall. Hopefully this time I'll get the tape on without getting all kind of wrinkles <laughs> and creases in it. And then we can proceed with uh, cutting this piece out and adding it to our building. Again, as I said before, we're cutting it a little bit inside of the edge because we want it to be a bit smaller than the original side piece that we cut out so that it doesn't interfere with the glue tabs on the ends and the bottom. to the plate number three and we're going to use some of the extra windows that are on the drawing. I'm applying a scotch tape, if you will, clear cellophane glossy over top of the window print and this will make it look like glass. Notice I'm leaving some white borders around each window. Uh, this is an area that will be glued uh, when you flip it over and put it on the back side of the end wall. Here again I'm using the Cheek Kids <laughs> glue stick applying a coating on the inside surface or the back surface if you will of the end walls and carefully position it over those windows that you just cut out. Be careful to get them centered although you do have a little bit of wiggle time uh, with this kind of glue which is one of the reasons I use it. Uh, it doesn't grab hold immediately so it leaves you a little bit of, of time that you can move stuff around if you need to.
here I'm cutting out the main windows on the front and the door. The approach here is going to be a little bit different because the way these windows are drawn in, there's like three distinct areas that I'm going to be covering with the glossy solvent tape. Uh, the trick here, of course, is to try not to cover over the door because that wouldn't be glossy necessarily other than the windows, which you could try to do if you're uh, <laughs> energetic, I guess. Is that are foolhardy because if you try to put tape over the windows and the door and don't get them cut right and try to reposition it, you're going to pull the print right off the paper again, which will wreck it. Again, I'm cutting around the windows, leaving uh, some plain paper or white on the edges to, to stick fast with the glue. Uh, my scissors don't cut the tape very good, so I have to resort to getting my modeling knife out to, to trim it off. And make sure that when you cut these out that they don't extend so far beyond the windows that you're going to interfere with your gluing tabs you don't really want to do that. Here you can see I, I lined it up so that I've got just a little bit of a margin on the left side because that's the side where, where the corner glues together. Again, I'm using my uh, glue stick. The card stock underneath it, the scrap card, that's just so that the glue that comes out and goes piles up in the window opening, that will stick to that scrap card rather than getting smeared around on the front side of your print uh, which again could ruin that print as far as appearance goes and we don't want to do that here again just position it very carefully so you get it centered where it needs to be At this point we lay out the two walls flat and I'm going to glue them together at the corner. Uh, this is using Aline's tacky glue. I put it in a little dispenser bottle with a with a fine tube applicator. I think it's about a 20 millimeter or 20 uh, thousandths rather opening in that tip which uh, allows you to control the, the amount of glue very, very easily. And just 
position it up, line it up. Try to make sure that it's positioned right at the corner where it needs to be joined. Don't overlap it because if you do, then you're going to have uh, a piece of the end wall sticking out beyond the side wall. And here I'm just standing it up, making sure that everything is even and that it's, it's straight across the bottom because if you don't glue it straight, there's no way your building is going to be straight uh, when you do the final assembly. Uh, the tacky glue sets up quite quickly. Uh, no need to clamp it. I just use a little bit of finger pressure after I get the pieces positioned where they're where they need to be, and just press this press the pieces of the card together, and it will stay there in just a matter of seconds. It works almost as fast as like a super glue would, but you're not dealing with a, a CA adhesive. It's just a PVA type adhesive. Here again, I'm going to site along the bottom. I make sure that it's straight because, again, if you have it on an angle, when you set it upright and go to glue it together, you're going to have a, a building that is skewed and you'll never be able to get it straight. <laughs> so while the glue is just somewhat wet yet, I'll make sure it's lined up. Here I'm cutting out the louvers uh, that are on the ends. These are going to be glued over top of the final surface of the siding. So really I'm, I'm just cutting these out for now and they'll be set aside until I'm ready to put them on the building. Once they're all cut to size, uh, I'm going to edge them with a, a gray marker, a dark gray marker, so that they don't appear to be uh, white card edges. Uh, I haven't decided yet. I'll have to see how it looks after I put it together. But I may actually use several of these uh, glued together to, to make them stand out a little bit further from the side. Make it look like this louver is sitting in a frame of some sort on the side of the building or on the end of the building rather. Uh, again, it's up to you. But this is just something that adds a little bit of additional detail, a little bit of surface texture, uh, so the building doesn't look so dead flat like it would if it was just cut. Now here I'm taking an additional print and I'm going to start the process of the uh, layering on the walls uh, to give the surface more definition. Uh, this is where the magic starts. With, in terms of cardstock modeling because if you just use a flat print surface as it comes off your printer uh, that's exactly what it's going to look like on your layout it's just going to look like a flat printed surface and we're going to use this print as a raw material and we're going to put it together much the same way that you would construct a craftsman kit uh, in wood except that we're using cardstock in lieu of wood or plastic. So here again, like I said, freehand cutting on either side of the pilasters that are on the sides of the building. And I'm going to cut all the way around this piece and eventually we'll be gluing it onto a backer uh, of heavier card and then we're going to glue that over top of the first side that we cut and folded. So we'll get into that uh, actually in the next episode next week. For now I'm just starting to cut this out. Remember you got to do it on both sides uh, unless perhaps only one side of your building is going to be visible. Uh, which in that case you only have to do the visible side obviously. If the other side is going to be toward the wall or something you can dispense with all the 
extra time and effort required for cutting and gluing. Uh, I like to pretty much do them all, all the way around uh, because you never know, you might take this building and put it on a different layout sometime. And, and then it might be the opposite hand, opposite side that's visible. So I prefer to, to do a total uh, finishing all the way around and on all my buildings that I construct, with very few exceptions. So here's the overlay, and like I said, this will be glued over top of the wall cutout that we previously made and folded. 